Okay, are you ready to get better in algebra? Well, I hope so. If you're going to watch this video, you're certainly going to improve in algebra. And how do you improve in anything? Well, you have to practice, okay? But you, it's not just about practicing. You've got to practice the uh, correct way. So it's like, um, you know, a baseball player or a basketball player, if they just threw the basketball at the hoop just hoping to make it, if they're using improper technique, they can do that 10,000 times and still not... 10,000 times, it's still not getting any better, right? So what you want to be doing is practicing uh, the correct techniques. And the only way to do that is to really make sure you have uh, the right instruction and you understand the problem uh, completely. So what we're going to be doing here is talking about functions. And we're going to find f of 3. Another way of saying that is to evaluate this function for 3 or find f of 3 for this particular function. So if you think you can do this and you understand, like, oh, no, I got this, we'll go ahead and pause the video and put your answer into the comment section. And we'll see how well you uh, do with this basic algebra concept, um, uh, which is evaluating or evaluating functions, evaluating um, algebraic expressions. So, but I'm going to get to exactly what we need to do here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you are frustrated with math or you don't like math and you're having a tough time, you know, passing your test or whatever the case might be, it doesn't have to be that way. Even if you think you're bad at math naturally because you've failed math before in the past. I'm just telling you right now, it uh, does not have to be that way. Okay, What you need is excellent math instruction, and then you got to be willing to put in the work. Okay, So if you don't feel like you're getting enough instruction right now or you're not connecting with your teacher's teaching style, I can help you out. I've been teaching math for decades, and my approach is um, really to take something which that you know it seems complicated and break it down in nice, simple, easy-to-understand uh, bite-sized pieces. Then we kind of build up from there. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level in terms of mathematics, I could help you out. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Acuplace, or CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I could help you pre uh, prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have an excellent uh, homeschool catalog math courses and curriculum, everything you need to successfully homeschool. And uh, if you need some uh, notes, math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But if um, you want great grades in math, you must learn how to take great math notes. Okay, so start improving your notes and everything will uh, get better. Um, it will be like magic. You'll be like, boy, that guy on YouTube really knew what he was talking about. All right, let's get into this problem. Okay, so I'm going to kind of give you an overview of what we need to do. So here, if we say find f of 3, this notation okay, means you want to plug in 3 everywhere you see an x, and then you're going to simplify this expression. Okay, So I'm pretty much telling you what to do. Right? We're going to replace, uh, we're going to, uh, replace these x's with a 3, and then we're going to simplify this expression. So f of 3 is going to be the result. Uh, plugging in a 3 here and a 3 there and then doing this math and you will have uh, found this one number which will be f of 3. Now uh, we're talking about evaluating a function. Functions, is, uh, this is a huge topic in uh, algebra and mathematics. So if you're not quite sure what a function is, well I talk about this in additional videos on my YouTube channel. Of course if you really want to master this stuff you might want to check out one of my algebra courses but if you're not quite sure what a function is, let's just keep it nice and focused on how to evaluate a function. Okay, so if you're like, well, I don't really know what this means. Well, I'm kind of telling you what to do here because okay? we're specifically trying to find f of 3 or evaluate this function for 3. Okay, that's another way to think about it. So, uh, you know, I think most of you out there now can do this if you were confused on what to do. Go ahead and pause the video. Now replace these x's with 3. Follow the... Um, Simplify the little mathematical uh, expression and get your number. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you my work right now that we could compare answers. All right. So uh, when we're talking about algebra, we deal with a lot of functions. Okay. All the time. And we do all sorts of things with functions. But one of the things we do, which is quite common, is evaluate functions for specific uh, numeric amounts and okay, specific, uh, specific values. So here again, we're going to find f of 3. So we're replacing this x with 3. Okay, so you can see that's f of 3. All right, just like I have written right here. 
So this X I will replace with the three and this X I wanna replace with a three. Now I want you to pay special attention right here. Anytime you're replacing a um, variable with a number, okay, always get in the habit of uh, putting that number that you're plugging in to where that variable's at. Use parentheses, okay? There's a lot of reasons why this will keep you out of trouble. I don't, um, I can't really go into all of them right now because I just don't want to deter from the problem. But just don't uh, do this, okay? You can see here I'm using parentheses when I re I'm replacing this x, I'm putting in a three, then a times x, I'm using uh, a parentheses again to plug in that value. So if you went like, oh, that's three minus eight times three plus one. Don't do it this way, okay? Use parentheses. So uh, I've just, you know, graded oh, maybe about 1 million plus quizzes, papers, homework over the last, you know, decades and whatnot. Maybe not that many, but you get the idea. You just see trends, okay? So when students do that, they typically can make, uh, they can lead to errors, all right? So don't do that. Use parentheses or is a safer way of not making any mistakes. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, finish this up now. So, uh, of course, I have 3 in this parenthesis. That's just 3 by itself. Minus 8 times 3 is what? 24 plus 1. So let's just write it all out like that. We have 3 minus 24 plus 1. And our final answer will be negative 20. Okay, so how can I think of this? Well, this is a positive 3 plus a positive 1. So that is a negative 24 plus a positive 4. Okay, so positive 3 plus 1, positive 4. So negative 24 plus 4, I'm not sure if I misspoke there, but you can kind of see the math. That's, of course, going to be negative 20. All right, now, if you uh, understood this, but you came up with like negative 19 or a different number, well, this is an illustration of even basic little, you know, integer, you know, problems adding up uh, numbers here can, you know, students mess this up. You'd be surprised. You'd be like, really? Students mess this up? I'm like, wow, that's crazy. How could they mess something so easy up? Well, because they're out of focus, okay? And typically, students will um, kind of let their focus slide when things seem easy. So well, here is the deal, right? Let me just give you some good advice. When something seems easy, this is where you want to be on high alert, okay? Because uh, our minds go, oh, this is easy. I don't really need to put a lot of mental concentration into it, blah, 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 blah. And you end up with the, with the wrong number. So when it's easy, you got to be like, perk up. You're like, all right, this is easy. And I'm going to double, double check my work just to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. But this is our final answer. So f of 3 is equal to negative 20. And if you got that right, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face for today with a good old 1985 flat top haircut and A+. Plus. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a few extra stars so you have an extra special day. So nice job. But here's the deal, right? Math is a language, and a lot about math is the little techniques that keep you out of trouble. Okay, so even though this is not that difficult of a problem to comprehend, it's really the procedure and the little notations you're using, you know, to um, get this correct. And this is a good, solid way, a good procedure to follow. Okay, so when you go to practice, okay, this is good form, all right? Just like going back to our basketball or baseball analogy, you, you know, you want to practice this using the correct techniques. And this is when working uh, with evaluating functions, this is how you want to uh, proceed. So hopefully this little video helped you out. If that is the case, go ahead and smash that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. have over 1,000 plus math videos, basic math, arithmetic, all the way to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.